folks understand the big picture of what Children's Miracle Network dollars can do? Well, Children's Miracle Network dollars really contribute um, to the hospital in a way that supports patient and family services that go above and beyond what a hospital can do otherwise, uniquely for the services that we have. Whether it's equipment or clinical services, um, CMN really contributes in a way that allows families to, to um, have the best services that they need, the best equipment that they need. Um, we're standing here in one of our great patient rooms that has sufficient space for families to for have two parents by the bedside. And a lot of the things that you see here and these other services we provide are enabled uh, by CMN. Hey, take a look at this. This is a Vecta machine and it's used by the child life specialists here at the hospital. Alicia, talk to me about how this machine and Children's Miracle Network help you to do your job. So Children's Miracle Network has purchased two of these Vectas for us and the Vecta is a multi-sensory machine and allows children to be a little bit more relaxed and comfortable here at the hospital. Uh, there are some tactile stimulation fiber optic wands here, a ball that allows kids a sense of control because they can turn on and off the bubbles as they please. Up top here is a projection, and right now we're projecting images of fish. What my favorite thing to do with the projection is to enlarge the image on a CT scanner, and that way kids can feel like they're swimming with the fish. So our role in the hospital is to help kids cope with their hospitalizations. We do that by preparing them for upcoming procedures. We like to educate them on what to expect next, um, and we like to play with them. We like to have them become familiarized with medical equipment. Um, we like to have them come to the playroom and explore the environment. When kids are outside of the hospital, they play and they discover and they explore the world. So when they're in the hospital, we like to do that as well. The Child Life Specialists, we have the great honor to help kids feel more comfortable in the hospital setting. So we can use Kaya in pediatric radiology to help calm down patients before their tests or procedures, make them feel a little bit more comfortable um, and not be so scared of the machines and the equipment. Um, and just be able to really provide that amount of support, that level of support for kids who are walking into the hospital and they're, they're anxious, they're worried about what's going on. I want to introduce you to Marissa, and she is a music therapist here at Penn State Children's Hospital, and your position is funded by Children's Miracle Network. That is correct. We have board-certified music therapists here at the hospital, which is a research-based profession. We use music to assist with pain control, anxiety management, as well as self-expression, emotional coping, and getting the families and kids to connect back together. One of the things we do is help to normalize the hospital environment. And through that, we can use a song, um, including, she'll be coming around the mountain, but talking about the hospital. So we'll see doctors and nurses, yes we will. Nice. And anything to a fun tune that they know. We moved into an operating room here at the hospital I'm here with Dr. Silly and Dr. Myers, pediatric surgeon, pediatric heart surgeon. Help us understand where Children's Miracle Network dollars help you in here. Well, here at Penn State Children's Hospital, we are particularly proud of our excellent results at a national level, some of the best in the nation in surgical outcomes. One of the most highlighted areas is our congenital heart surgery, children's heart surgery program. Dr. Myers can speak to that. Well, CMN has helped us tremendously. You can see this heart-lung machine here that we use every day in order to be able to repair children's hearts um, in the, right in this operating room. It's an impressive machine. It's everything in here is so impressive. About $130,000 to pull off one of these machines. The Children's Miracle Network has been amazing for emergency medicine. I mean, just this past year, they gave us an ultrasound machine so we could bring it in right to the bedside and make critical decisions on patient care. It's really been fabulous. But they've given many other things. We have like this IV pole back here with a little smiley face. They've contributed that. Games for children to play while they're here. They've done educational things for our nurses to help support and grow their kind of wealth of knowledge. So Children's Miracle Network Dollars has helped Lifeline purchase two pediatric critical care transport ambulances. They've also helped us purchase this specialized piece of equipment. This is an isolate. It has a self-contained warmer inside of it. It has its own ventilator to ventilate the children. It has IV pumps and an EKG, all allowing us to uh, monitor these patients while we're transporting them from a community hospital back to tertiary care facility. The Children's Miracle Network is huge for us. The money that we get from Children's Miracle Network provides all kinds of different equipment that our babies need. So right here, this is a giraffe omnibed. This becomes almost an equipment womb for the baby. So we can care for whatever the baby might need, you know, especially those little ones that come much earlier than they're supposed to. We also use Children's Miracle Network money 
for developmental care items, positioning devices that babies need. So this is something that a teeny tiny little one would sit on top of or lay on top of to protect their growing muscles.